Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to compare the Ubiquiti Protect in VR. So, uh, you know, when Protect first came out, it was lacking a bunch of features. They have made great stride in bringing the feature set up. There are still some things that we'd like to see in Protect, and I'll go over that when I do the Protect videos next week. But I've been getting some questions like, what Protect in VR should I use? So you may or may not realize it, but there's actually four options. So we're going to go over those. And I actually made a nifty little spreadsheet. So we'll take a look at the hardware as we're talking about it. And um, uh, there's a couple of things we got to talk about. So the four NVRs are the CloudKey Gen 2 Plus the UDM Pro, the UNVR, and the UNVR Pro. So I made this nice little spreadsheet and I pulled this information from Ubiquity where I could find it, did some searching. So if any of this is wrong, uh, let me know down in the comments and I'll correct this. So let's hop right into it. So the only place that I could really find a differentiating factor, and you're gonna see this um, here on the G3 versus G4 because you can turn the G4 cameras down to, to 1080. They don't have to record at, at 4K. Um, but on the Cloud Key Gen 2, which is a single disc, uh, single hard drive in VR, they tell you that you can do 20 G3 cameras or 10 G4 cameras. The hard drive that it ships with is a one terabyte drive, uh, which is upgradable to five terabytes. It does not have RAID. It has a single one gigabit connection. It has an APQ 8053 eight core ARM processor, three gigs of RAM. MSRP is 199 USD. Now, uh, you can also run less cameras on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus if you are running the Unify SDN software. <clears throat> It can be powered with PoE or the USB-C port. You can do local or remote remote viewing. And it does come in a desktop kind of form factor, this right here, but there is an accessory, and let's uh, take a look at this, where you can actually put this in a 1U. Um, let's see, doesn't look like it's there. Maybe it's under network accessories. But there is, <coughs> excuse me, an accessory where you can rack mount, and here it is right here. So for an additional 99 USD, you can rack mount either the Cloud Key G2 or the Cloud Key Gen, Gen 2 Plus. And so it is also available in a 1U form factor. All right, the next one that we've got is the UDM Pro. Now, uh, knowing that it is a single disc, I just kind of made some assumptions um, and maybe it's not right, maybe it is based on the processor, but I think it's probably a pretty good bet that you wouldn't wanna go over the 20 cameras on that single disc. Now, if you look at the Unify hard drive compatibility and management link, which I'll leave a link to this down below, you'll see that that's where I pulled this information. They tell you that the smallest drive that you can use for Protect is 128 gigs, and the largest is 16 gig. However, they recommend when you get into multiple drives, I think they recommend either four, I think they're four terabyte drives, maybe eight terabyte drives. We'll look at that here in a second. So to the UDM Pro, 20 cameras, one hard drive, no RAID. Uh, now the network here, uh, it's got eight one gig ports, not PoE, one 10 gig LAN port, um, also not PoE, but it does have that quad ARM Cortex A57 uh, processor at 1.7 uh, gigahertz with four gigs of memory. MSRP on the unit is 379 USD with no hard drives. Now, what kind of sets this apart is it can run the SDN, Talk, Protect, Access. There's some other applications out there too that Ubiquiti is working on. We can't really talk about those. Um, it, it does have a standard, uh, uses a standard power cable, but it also has the RPS, which is the redundant power system from Ubiquiti that can plug into this. Uh, you can do local or remote viewing. It does come with rack ears, and it is a 1U form factor. So if we take a look at 
so they call they're calling the UDM Pro it's a, a uni, uh, Unify OS console, but this is the UDM Pro. You can you know you've seen that I've got some uh, some videos on that. Um, like I said, it can run the network, protect, access, talk, and there's a, a few other things. Also, it is can be your router, um, and it it can move packets pretty darn quickly. All right, back to our next model. It is the standard UNVR, and I'm going to pull this up here. We'll take a look at this. Let's go back to the spreadsheet real quick. Now, they tell you you can have 50 cameras on this unit. It can have four hard drives, uh, minimum size 128 gigs up to 16 terabytes, can do RAID 1 or RAID 5, has one 1 gigabit port and one 10 gigabit port. It's got that quad-core ARM uh, Cortex A57 processor at 1.7 gigahertz with four gigs of RAM. The MSRP on the unit is 299 USD with no hard drives, and it does run Protect only. It comes with uh, rail or uh, uh, mounting ears. It comes with that RPS, that redundant power connection. You can do local or remote viewing, and it is a 1U form factor. So let's take a look at that real quick. Um, Let's get the picture up here. So I'm going to be doing some videos on this. They did send one over to me. And uh, I've got some four terabyte drives for that. So you can see here's that RPS connector um, right here. But I mean, it is a, it is a really a, a, neat, a neat little unit. And the more they add features to the software, the more it is really growing on me. So yes, we are going to start using Unify uh, Protect in certain situations. So Look, look for that. But we're not. We're also not giving up on our other manufacturers. They have different use cases. Then the last one is the UNVR Pro, which is slated for 60 cameras. You can have seven hard drives. It's got that same 128 gig to 16 terabyte, but it can do RAID 1, 5, or 10. It's got one 1 gig port, one 10 gig port. It's got that same 1.7 gigahertz quad core ARM a57 processor, 4 gigs of memory, MSRP is $499 USD, um, it, and the same thing, this runs Protect only, comes with the rail kit, has the RPS connection, remote or local viewing, and is a 2U uh, form factor. So let's take a look at that real quick. So this thing is a, a, little, a little beefier. As you can see, two U, three drives on top, four drives on bottom. I don't have one of these. Um, if I get one in, we will do a video on it. So there's your RPS connector there, two big fans, standard power. Um, I don't know what the future holds for this. There's all kinds of asterisks all over with like future console updates and stuff like that. But I don't want to talk about that since it's not, it's not there. So we are going to do some protect videos. Um, coming up so while we're talking about these NVRs you know where would I use the cloud key gen 2 if I just had a couple cameras and I wanted to be able to view them remotely and I wanted to kind of set it and forget it and maybe it's not super important to me I'm probably gonna put either the cloud key gen 2 or the UDM Pro in now the UDM Pro if I want to if I'm looking for a new router and I'm in the ubiquity uh, ecosystem, then I'm probably going to go with the UDM Pro. Uh, but I'm only going to probably stick a couple cameras on there, depending on what I've got it doing. But Cloud Key Gen 2, UDM, just a couple cameras, because there's only that single disk, right? So that video probably isn't going to be overly um, important to me. Now, if I'm looking at something where I'm worried about redundancy and drives and, and those kinds of things. That's when I'm going to look at the UNVR and the UNVR Pro. Obviously, the differentiating factor between the two is how many cameras I'm going to have. So when my, when my video is going to be a little bit more mission critical, that's when I'm going to look at the UNVR and the UNVR Pro because of the redundancies that are built in. Let's hop over to the hard drive uh, section real quick. So I'll leave a link to this, but Ubiquity has a whole section of hard drives they know are not compatible, drives they do know are compatible, they tell you why the drives aren't compatible. And uh, if you scroll through this section, it's going to show you and tell you um, what we need to be looking at for hard drives. See, it offers at least 128 gigabytes of storage. 
Um, then it talks a little bit about like a one terabyte hard drive, assuming normal quality, you get nine days of 4K video, 20 days of HD, and they tell you recording capacity can fluctuate. So uh, your mileage is gonna vary on this. And then here are confirmed incompatible drives, which is nice because you can go here and you can see, okay, the drives that I'm looking at are definitely not compatible. And then it, that's the UDM Pro and the UNVR. So that UNVR is probably going to be the same for the UNVR Pro too. They may have not just updated this yet. Here's the incompatible drives for the Cloud Key Gen 2. It tells us how to format the drives. They've got everything right here in this file. So stay tuned for more uh, Unify Protect videos. I am going to be uh, looking at some of the cameras that they sent over and, and all that. And they are not they don't get to see the videos before they're published. I do want to thank them for sending the gear out, but they're not going to get to see it or, or comment on it. They, they know that's part of the deal. Um, so, but if you've got any questions about these, or if I've got something wrong, put it down in the comments, put all your questions down there. Let me know what you think. Let me know where you would use uh, each, each of these. So, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a Patreon, that link is down below. If you'd like to use our Amazon affiliate links, those are also down below. Don't feel like you have to, uh, but it is appreciated. It doesn't change your price, but it kicks a couple bucks to the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.